Over the past few years, astronomers have become aware of some shocking new properties of black holes. As it turns out, they not only mercilessly consume and destroy everything that falls into them, black holes can also spew out fountains of hot matter and surround themselves with firewalls. It's a good thing there are no black holes in our solar system so far. After all, in 2011, using the Hubble Orbital Telescope, scientists discovered that black holes can also move. In this video, you'll find out what will happen if a rogue black hole comes close to our solar system. What are the most dangerous black holes? And most importantly, why should we be afraid of rogue black holes? Well, have you started suffering from trypophobia, a panicky fear of holes yet? No? Well, then keep watching this video. In June 2011, scientists noticed a bright star at a distance of about 20,000 light years from us. With the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers had been studying it for six years and came across a very strange thing. The star's light became brighter over time, as if there were an invisible lens-like object between it and us, its observers. Though that lens had cosmic proportions, since the lens itself didn't emit any light but only distorted it, scientists assumed that it was an invisible black hole somewhere around seven times the mass of our sun. But after about 300 days, the lens seemed to disappear. After analyzing the changes in the star's light, the scientists concluded that this black hole didn't stand still. It drifted at a speed of about 45 kilometers per second. But how is this possible? The point is that at the end of the life cycle of a supermassive star, its core collapses under its own weight after its thermonuclear fuel is depleted. That's how a black hole is born. These deliveries are often followed by a powerful energy outburst. It turned out that it can be so huge that it sometimes throws a newborn black hole right out of a star's womb and onto an endless interstellar journey. So, does this mean that this drifting black hole found by scientists isn't the only one in the universe? Scientists discovered that a black hole can be formed not only due to the explosion of a dying star. A black hole may form out of the ashes of its really massive ancestor, namely, two supermassive black holes if they collide. It turns out that there are black holes from real, complete families, with a mom and a dad. But most importantly, their collision can be so powerful that a new black hole will begin to fly through space. In addition, rogue black hole monsters can form when two black holes merge together, and it doesn't go as planned. Then one or even both of them can go astray. That's what a space divorce looks like like. And if there are more ways to create a drifting black hole than scientists initially thought, there could be even more black holes. According to astronomers in our Milky Way, there are about 12 supermassive black holes wandering around the outskirts far from the center of the galaxy. And that's a real nightmare for any trypophobes. What could be worse? Just the fact that surfing through our galaxy isn't the only frightening hobby that a black hole can have. Sure thing, fire shows always look impressive. Now, imagine a giant black hole giving such a performance. There's a theory that a black hole can tear apart entangled particles that fall into it. According to the laws of quantum mechanics, such a process produces an insane amount of energy, which can form a firewall around the black hole. Besides, some black holes just love playing alias. It's just that now they can show only one word, a fountain. Such black holes are surrounded by streams of gas and dust. Friction in this material forms something like a fountain, round rings thrown directly into space. But the most exciting thing is that some black holes may turn out to be the real Doctor Strange because they love playing with time. There's a theory called loop 
quantum gravity. According to this theory, the fabric of space and time is significantly distorted near the center of a black hole. This causes part of the hole to be in the future, which means that the matter sucked into it will go forward in time. What if we shouldn't be afraid that our planet will be swallowed by a black hole? After all, there's a chance that we might just go into the future, though it's pretty unlikely. At least, that was the case until we found out that black holes could move. NASA experts always reassured us by saying that our sun would have to be 20 times as massive to end up as a black hole. But we couldn't even imagine that another random black hole could come up to us like a teenager on a skateboard at absolutely any moment. And we won't even notice when exactly. Because if a black hole makes its way into our solar system, it'll be invisible to us. We'll hit the jackpot only if the black hole starts ripping the atmosphere off the outer gas giants. In this case, a visible accretion disk or a region of gas and heated dust will form around it. Then we'll finally see the monster. Although such a black hole is several thousand times smaller than any of the planets, its mass will be several thousand times bigger. Thus, all the planets unlucky enough to be in its path will be consumed, even those that are as big as Jupiter. Once this rogue black hole reaches the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, its strong gravitational pull will cause devastating earthquakes and supervolcano eruptions here on Earth. We'll be just torn apart. And when the black hole reaches the Earth's orbit, our planet will turn into a smoldering, uninhabitable rock covered with magma. But how realistic is such a turn of events? Scientists believe that there's a real chance. The Verruben Observatory in Chile plans to start a 10-year night sky observation next year. In addition, NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is scheduled to launch in 2027. These projects are necessary to harvest our own crops of rogue black holes, so to speak. The Rubin and Roman telescopes have an extensive range of vision and can thus capture panoramic images of stars with a vast number of rogue black holes hiding somewhere in there. And only these two telescopes will help us get rid of our space trypophobia, not some therapist. But how might you cure this fear on your own right away? Okay. Relax. In fact, a rogue black hole is unlikely to suck up Earth in the near future. And if it ever does, there will also be some good moments. For example, you'll have the opportunity to surf the space waves together with the drifting black hole, which is even cooler than surfing in Malibu. Tell us about your reasons for falling into a black hole in the comments. By the way, did you know that the black hole in our galaxy's center has become 75 times brighter? Check out this video to learn more.